scientific evidence predicts that by 2050, most of our islands would be submerged underwater due to rising sea level. What we're seeing in the islands is extreme coastal erosion, heavy rains, flooding. So this is having a huge impact on livelihood of the communities that are the most vulnerable. <laughs> So with the help of drones, what we are trying to do is collect some of these data, such as how the topography of the island is changing. We want to enhance the capacity of community emergency response team to be better prepared during a disaster. For me, what's most striking is the topography of the island over here. This is usually the side where the island would experience surges during the monsoon. For response, it's very important for us to get a visual image of how the island actually looked like. If we are to send relief items, what are the possible entry points in the island and what are the possible hazard-prone areas of the island. This is a very powerful tool for uh, evidence-based decision-making. We can clearly convince policymakers to make the right decisions based on this threshold data. I've been very impressed with the abilities and the, and the, and the capacities of the Fan Fan 4. These are really powerful tools that we can give to the islanders to go out to the field, quickly get the maps done, and identify what sort of support they needed. Drones will obviously not solve the issue of climate change, but it can be that small, useful technology that can help bridge the communities with disaster response missions. Every time I come back to the Maldives, it fills me with pride because I see how beautiful my country is and how happy and vibrant the people in the Maldives are. This is my home. Which one? This the blue. The blue? Ah, okay. Wow. It reminds me how important it is to act fast to save this beautiful island nation and to pass it on to the next generations.